Did you know that we have channel memberships now? If you'd like to help support this channel, get some exclusive Koobana emotes to use in the comments, as well as an exclusive badge by your name, click that join button now to find out more. Every bit of support really helps. Thanks guys. Hotel Celine, located in Nagano Prefecture, is rather infamous amongst Haikyo enthusiasts. Those people who enjoy travelling around the many and varied abandoned buildings all over Japan. It has naturally also become a ghost spot over the years, with numerous reports of ghosts and horrifying happenings within the building's walls. But what really went on at Hotel Celine? Why was it abandoned and is it really haunted? First things first, Hotel Celine is, or was, a love hotel, and it can be found quite easily on Prefectural Road 18 in Shinano Town, Kamiminochi District, Nagano Prefecture. Nobody is quite sure when it first opened, or even when it closed, but the best dates we have put it opening around the late 1970s, and then closing sometime in the late 80s or early 90s. By the turn of the century, it had already been long abandoned and well established as a haiko. The reason Hotel Celine is especially famous amongst the many thousands of abandoned buildings and hotels across Japan is because of a series of creepy drawings inside. These pictures, graffitied in each and every room, depict a naked pregnant woman accompanied by rather bizarre text. This text, sometimes accompanied by a phone number and a woman's name, appears to tell a strange story of a pregnant woman who still has a lot of, uh, desires. How there's no worry about getting her pregnant because she already is, and hints that she was attacked by numerous men within the very walls of that hotel. From this, numerous stories were created and rumours spread that, yes, a pregnant woman was abducted by a group of men, taken to the hotel, attacked and then killed there. Now her spirit is said to haunt the narrow halls looking for new victims. Other versions of the story claim that the men left her there, very much alive, but unable to live with what happened to her, she took her own life. The ghost of this woman is said to be the most common haunting in the tiny hotel, but naturally there has never been any proof that a woman was attacked or killed there in the hotel's history. Who drew these pictures? Again, nobody is quite sure, but there have long been rumours of a hooded man who was seen in the area around the same time these pictures first showed up. A little digging of the phone number and name that accompanied some of them also discovered that the number was real and the name attached to it was also the same. Of course, that phone number and its owner have long parted ways, but records from the time that the graffiti went up showed a match. Was this someone's idea of a prank? Perhaps an angry ex trying to get back at his girlfriend? Or was it something far more disturbing? The pregnant woman isn't the only ghost known to haunt the building, however. There were reports that a homeless man was also attacked in the hotel's parking lot. After he was beaten, he was set on fire and killed. This horrific crime reportedly shocked locals so badly that many refused to even go near the area after that. There is no concrete information on this supposed murder, so again, whether it actually happened or whether the story was created to enhance the scare factor of the building, well, that's up to you to decide. In addition to the homeless man, it said there is a photo of the couple who used to own the hotel in one of the rooms. If you're unlucky enough to stumble upon this cursed photo, the couple in it will start talking to you. If you try to run, the door will slam shut and you'll find yourself locked in. Naturally, nobody knows exactly where this photo is, nor even who owned the hotel before it was abandoned. So. This is just one of the many rumours that have been added to the expanding Hotel Celine universe. And that's still not all. Yet another rumour claims that if you even plan to visit the hotel, then the night before you will see it in your dreams. That's about all it does though. It's not like Freddy where something attacks you in your sleep. It's just so spiritually powerful that 
Apparently, it can appear to you while you sleep, once it knows that you plan to visit. As you can see from Google Maps, the building still exists and it's not very large. You can find countless videos online from people who have visited the site hoping to catch a haunting or two. It's incredibly narrow inside and there are only a few rooms in total. Like most buildings abandoned during the burst of the Japanese economic bubble, everything was left inside as is when the owners left, so even now you can still find moldy bedding, old pieces of furniture, the remains of the fancy love hotel bathrooms, and so on. The graffiti is undoubtedly the main attraction, however, and the sole reason most people know of this hotel to begin with. It's why people go there, and it's the main thing they want to see. Surprisingly, most of the graffiti has made it intact to modern times, but not entirely without additions or further graffiti over the top. People have added their own comments to the weird stories. Others have added their own additions to the woman, including in one case, a knife in her belly. And others have tried to black parts out, perhaps thinking that would make it scarier or just because they have nowhere else to channel their destructive energies. Why this particular hotel was abandoned has never been determined, but considering the time period it closed, and its location way in the middle of nowhere, it's not too hard to guess. The most likely answer is that it simply didn't get enough business. The hotel only had a few rooms, it was located in the middle of nowhere, and land taxes are quite pricey. For many owners, it's easier to simply abandon a property than it is to try and sell it or do anything else with it. And so, a legend was born. A somewhat interesting addition to the Hotel Celine mythos is that it is, perhaps, not the first building to have been graffitied with the pregnant woman pictures. There is an abandoned building in neighbouring Niigata Prefecture that is shaped like a cow. It has also long been abandoned, but inside you can find the exact same graffiti of the pregnant woman, and it's believed this artwork has been here even longer than Hotel Celine. Even more interestingly, internet comments have remarked that this pregnant woman image is actually the mark of a gang of female bike riders in Nagano, where Hotel Celine is located. Or at least, it used to be. If we connect the dots, could the image have been drawn by someone connected to the gang? An angry ex-boyfriend, perhaps? The phone number written alongside a certain woman's name pointed to a landline in Niigata, the same location as the abandoned building shaped like a cow. It's a complex web of rumours and anonymous comments and events that happened 20 to 30 years ago, so nobody really knows for sure, and likely never will. And that's what makes locations like Hotel Celine so enduring. There's just enough of a story behind them, with maybe, possible, potential truths to make people stand up and go, hey, that sounds interesting, I want to go check it out. Hotel Celine still stands today, surprisingly, and a lot of the furniture and graffiti can also still be found inside, despite many decades of Haikyo enthusiasts entering and filming the building. Whether any of the stories told about it are actually true or not are up for debate, and without proof, it's hard to take them at face value. But they add to the rich lore and history surrounding the building regardless. And once you've seen those pictures of the pregnant woman inside the building, you're unlikely to forget them anytime soon either. But what do you guys think of this one? Let me know in the comments below and I'll see you again next time.